Hello, my name is Minesweeper McGee, also known as Minesweeper in VRChat, and what I want to show today is called The House I Grew Up by Colmania. Now, here we are, and before I even moved, uh, we're gonna talk about <laughs> movement in VRChat, and how it works, and what you can do to make it better or worse. This world, you cannot move left or right. They've removed the option you can move backwards, you can move forwards, you can run, you can jump, but you cannot move left or right. And also, like, the walls for these doors are a little wonky, so it's, like, hard to find where exactly to walk through. Which makes this world... It makes this world more interesting, but it makes it interesting because it's frustrating. <laughs> like, this is an empty house. Um, but it's, I, the only reason I'm showing this is because I get to talk about, and it's crashed. Okay, I'm back. But the recording, uh, crashed. So, I want to talk about VRChat movement, because I've seen worlds, I talked about in Hope, that you can design for VRChat, so. The things we can know about VRChat's movements is, typically, you move forward, back, left and right, you can run, which is maybe like twice the speed, and you can jump, which you can set at whatever height you want. Typically this is about normal. Um, you can also remove features. I, in the, uh, the box, but I hate every part of it, uh, hitting the run button makes you faster, but the walk speed is so slow that like it's hard to even notice. I've seen worlds that make running actually slower. I've seen worlds that make running uh, not even a thing. It doesn't change the speed at all. We've seen in Departamento that you can make the run speed basically infinite, <laughs> which can make your world fun. Um, you can do all kinds of things that make it weird. You could design, like, if you want to leave all the settings the same, we know that people love to run in VRChat so you can make it real big. Like, honestly, there's no need for a run button in this world because the building is so small and it's hard to even run in and out of doors. So you could probably get rid of it. However, maybe don't ever get rid of the left and right. <laughs> Unless you're making something really bizarre, like it's really important. Like, for example, in the game, the beginner's guide there's a oh uh, there's a level in that called uh she only or like i think it's called she only ever looked backwards or she only ever looked behind her where you literally can only move backwards and if you want to move somewhere else you have to turn around and then move backwards in that direction so you can never look forwards you can never look where you're going and it uses that to like close the walls behind you which will surprise you you have to turn around and see what's going on that's something that i don't think i've ever seen beyond you know making you jump really high in a world that like requires jumping or getting rid of running when it's not necessary. I, that's something I don't think I've seen utilized in VR chat so far. It could be used, obviously. There's I've shown worlds that have like I think Departamento has like 200 visits. So obviously, there's tons of stuff that's interesting that we haven't seen. Yeah, this world is not great, but I did want to use it to talk about how you can change things because this world changed the controls in a way that I've never seen before because it is terrible. It is objectively awful that I can't walk left and right for no reason. All right, that was The House I Grew Up by Colmania. Thank you.